Hello and welcome back to Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life, the second part of the Let's Test Drive the Game Loop season, which uh, follows Eric Smith's second blog post about test driving the game loop and continues with the game loop we started in the last uh, episodes. Okay, so having a look at what we've got so far, it's actually pretty simple. Um, we have a small loop here in our game loop class that executes the game as long as it uh, returns that it's running and calls first update and second render on that game. So there's apparently two problems with this current game loop. Uh, problem one is that the game does not take any input from the user, so it's probably pretty boring to play. And uh, then this game loop currently executes as fast as possible, which means that on a faster machine, um, the game will probably be more difficult to play than on a slower machine, just because this loop is executed as fast as it can get. So we want to introduce two things, um, user input and some kind of a, a frame logic that ensures this is not run too often. Okay, so for now, let's start with some user input. Go back to the test. Actually, I'm going to execute them to see they're still running. Uh, they are. And I'm going to start implementing a new test that's concerned with user input. Public void passes input to update. So I want the user input to be pulled and passed to the update method of my game. You remember, here's an update method in our game interface, so I want the input to be passed into there. Um, okay, I have the game and the game loop already set up here in this before method, which actually is going to be a problem because I want to create some kind of input handler, some, uh, some unit that retrieves the user input for us. And I want to configure that, put that into the game loop. So I would like to add an additional parameter here. Can I do that? Yes, actually I need an input handler for every test. So I'm just going to create um, a new input handler here and pass it into the game loop. Of course, I have to create that um thing input handler thing here and I would like it to be an interface which quickfix does not provide me with so I say input handler and create that interface just manually. Go back here and then of course my um, problem becomes apparent because I need to test implementation for that. And I'm going to just quickly create that one. So public static class test input handler implements input handler, this one, right. Okay, so much for making it compile. Then I would like to assign that to a field test input handler, fine with me. Yep, um, I want to resort that just for convenience, because um, I need those two for the unit on the test, so I like to put them before, but that's probably personal taste. And then I want to input this test input handler, uh, configure that on the game loop, and therefore I need to change the constructor. Um, but I want to put that on input handler and that too. This should work, go back to the test. Um, my passes thing is not there yet. Anyways, to save that, the test should run. Okay, so we have the test game, we have the test input handler, we pass that into the game loop. Now we can return to our actual test and say, okay, um, for my test input handler, I want actually to um, set input to some new test input 
and of course that doesn't compile because I need test input here. I'm just quickly going to create the test input as another class here, public static class test input. Oops, this exists and now I need a method set input on my test handler which I created with this little script and yes this is it already again so I configured my uh, test input handler the test input handler is sent on the game set on the game loop um, now I set the test game to set running true false let's see running ans answers returned by the the is running function for one time true then false so the game loop is going to be executed exactly once I want to have unit under test run and then I want to assert that um, test game dot updated with input is same is there something like is the same um, it's not is because is does an equals check as far as I know right is instance of yeah yeah no wait this one um, so is is actually um, shortcut for is equal to so this is going to check that two instances equal but I want this test input instance this very same instance here to be passed into um, the the update mechanism um, but I can probably since I have no equals implementation on input that should work so let me quickly um, pull that into a variable input field and say is test input okay now I'm going to create that field updated with input on my test game go there say this is a test input okay and now the test is compiling but it's probably not running right because I'm expecting this instance of test input I've created up there but it it's currently null because nothing is passed into uh, the update call. So let's change that. Problem is that I currently don't have an interface for this input thing here. So I cannot just um, and I, of course I do not want to use the test input type in the interface of uh, the game. So what I'm going to do is make the game uh, have a generic parameter t input or i student i and say the update method gets an instance of i as input so now I don't compile because I need to configure that with test input my test game and of course then say okay this method gets an input of test input um, an instance of test input in here and I want to update the game loop because the game loop actually needs to um, get something in here. I will quick fix that with null for now. Um, now I have a problem here because this is not type safe yet. Um, so actually, for now, just to get rid of the warnings. Uh, let's 
give this an arbitrary type and re-execute the tests which should still fail at the same point because of course the instance is still null. Um, okay what I want to do next is save the input I get passed here into update into the updated with input uh, field which will still not make the test pass because in the game loop I need to actually pass the input in here. So I'm going to add this parameter to a field and then I want to actually query the input from the input handler get current input. That one doesn't exist so I create a respective um, method here. Now I actually see that I need the generic type at a second uh, place to make it match. So I want to have here the same type i or the same generic parameter i um, as with the game. And since I want to store that game and have a type safe passing here, this implies that I have to add this uh, generic type also to the game loop which means I have a type here, I have a game loop that takes that input type and I have an input handler that takes that input type. Um, I need to add this here and add it there. Now all the warnings should be gone and this passing along here is actually type safe because I get a current input of type i and I pass it to the update function uh, or method which also takes a parameter of type i. Um, going back to the test, there's something not compiling because the input handler uh, is not parameterized. Um, I set it to test input. And of course, I need to implement the get current input method that I just created in the interface. Um, and what I want to do is save this value from test input. Um, to a field and return that here. Test input. No, not the type, but the field. So this should solve the test, right? Right. So now the very same instance here is actually put over there. Um, since I'm not sure about this instance check here. I'm going to um, try this out real quick and say if I put a new test input here, oh that doesn't work right, um, that doesn't work because from the main uh, packages I cannot access the types from the testing thing. Um, but something else I can do to check this is really instance equality uh, is just create a new instance of input a test input here and see that the test now hopefully fails yes because it was one instance but I got another one right so with this actually my test is passing okay so I guess I will leave it at that for now and next time we're going to target the uh, updating issue because as you remember our game loop still runs as fast as my machine can execute, execute the loop and I don't really want to have that and yeah how we solve that you will see in the next episode. Thank you very much for, hope, uh, for watching, I hope you liked it, if so give me a thumbs up, uh, if not or if you have any comments or feedback, otherwise uh, drop me a comment, send me a message, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm always happy to improve and I hope to see you next time. Bye!